In the last video, we went through the preview step, where you click preview, you selected a design and a trim size, and you previewed what your book was going to look like uh, when it was printed. That should give you an idea of exactly what your book will look like when it's ready to be published. Um, if you go through that preview step and you are still finding errors or issues with your book, it's important at this point to go back into the chapters and make those changes before you publish. But once you're ready to publish, um, you click the publishing setup. And today we're going to talk about publishing through Fast Pencil and the three different ways that you can do it currently. Um, if you have a publisher's account at Fast Pencil, if you've upgraded to the publisher's account, then you will have an imprint option here. The imprint for you will be your company publishing name and then the imprint that uh, you've designated. You can choose that option and then you can also enter in your own ISBN numbers uh, at this time. So if you have a publishing company, you have your own block of ISBNs, you have your own imprint with your own logo and your spine logo and your back cover logo and those kinds of things, it's important at this point to choose the correct imprint name that you want to publish under and then to enter in your own ISBN numbers. You're going to need an ISBN number for your printed book um, and then one for your ebook as well. Those are two different numbers. Um, and then you're going to have the title of your book. This is important because this metadata is captured and sent along with your book during distribution. When we send this out to Amazon and Barnes and Noble and Ingram, uh, we send out the title and the subtitle um, and the authors and the edition uh, in one block. So if you want to uh, change it right now, it's important that you have that, that information right here. Okay? You're going to enter that information. You're going to click the next button. If you are not a publisher, actually, let me go back one step here. If you're not a publisher, if you're just an independent author and you want to self-publish your book and you want Fast Pencil to assign the ISBN number, then you're going to leave all of this information here blank and just enter in your title, subtitle, and, and, and this other metadata here. When you go through the steps and you choose wide distribution, we will automatically assign a Fast Pencil ISBN number to your print book and to your ebook, different ISBN numbers, and those will be what we'll use for the uh, distribution. Okay? So I'm going to click the next button, and here you want to enter in the description of your book. The description is really for the metadata that gets sent out to the channels, okay? And this is important because the retailers like Amazon and Barnes and Noble will take this description, and that's what they're going to display with the book, okay? This book is about my life. Um, the author, let's see here, Michael Ashley is... Um, co-founder and CTO at Fast Pencil. Okay. Um, the summary is actually more of an internal area that you can use to um, share information about your book with your collaborators, but it's also it also can be used to put uh, text on the um, dust jacket. If you decide to do a hardcover book that has a dust jacket on it, then you can put text here and this text will get printed on the inside flaps of the dust jacket. So this is a good place to put that kind of information. Again, it might be a small summary of the book or something that you might want to have on the inside flap of a dust jacket. You can also leave them blank if you don't want to put anything there. The next section for categorization is about your BISAC codes. If you've heard of BISAC codes before, they are the codes used to organize categories for the retailers like Amazon and Ingram and bookstores. Um, you can select a maximum of three BISAC codes here. They are your main categories for your book and I'll choose say uh, body, mind, and spirit, autobiography, and autobiography. You can also put in some keywords that are separated by commas and these can also help when people do searches for your book. Okay, so I might put in uh, Ashley Family Tree and uh, MASH as my nickname. Okay? And this is all stored in our metadata file. Again, this is what gets submitted for distribution. Um, my copyright year is auto-populated. I can leave it as 2012, or if I want to change it to 2013 or uh, earlier, maybe 2011, I can do that here. 
but I'm going to just leave it for now. The copyright holders can be modified as well. If you are the uh, sole copyright holder, you can put your name there. If you have other copyright holders like illustrators, you can put that there as well. The license is, there's a standard license that usually goes with most books. That basically says no part of this publication may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system or transmitted in any form. Um, and this is the standard license that we allow, you know, that we kind of put in by default for you. If you have a different license, you can modify it yourself, change it to anything you want. You can also add your own disclaimers here, you know, um, uh, do, let's see, I, let's see, don't hold me responsible for any crazy things you might do as a, of reading this book. Okay, you can put whatever disclaimer you want. If you have a standard one for your company or whatever, you can put that in there. I'll hit the next button and I'll go to um, the uh, dedication. The dedication and the acknowledgments are little extras that we added here in the publishing step. If you haven't already added a chapter for dedication and a chapter for acknowledgments, which you can do in the editor, um, you can add them in here. If you did it in the editor, they would be they would look like chapters and they would be um, uh, collected into the front matter. Uh, and you would do that using that chapter menu that I talked about it earlier in the video. If you didn't do that though, and you wanted the um, to add a dedication and an acknowledgement, you could do that here. And I could say, you know, to mom with love and acknowledgements. I might want to put in something here, you know, to you know, thanks to all my friends. Uh, etc. But you could put in paragraphs of content here in acknowledgments if you wanted to. The dedication, you really want to try and keep that uh, to one or two lines. It's it's the very elegant, nice dedication you usually see at the beginning of a book, um, you know, to my children or to my mom with love, that kind of stuff. I'm going to hit the next button and that'll save that and it'll move me on to formats. One of the important things about Fast Pencil is that from one project, you can create both the printed book and the ebook. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to select both the printed book and the ebook. And this is very powerful and it makes it really quick to create a book that you can um, uh, distribute both as print on demand and as EPUB and Mobi uh, for both Amazon, Barnes Noble, and iBooks and iPad uh, and Ingram Digital, you know, and all those other places that we'll go to here. And I'll talk about that in a second. <coughs> so I chose both formats. And so now my distribution options are here. I can either choose to publish this as a private book, meaning uh, I just want to maybe print five copies and give them to my children. Um, I could publish this into the Fast Pencil Marketplace. And the Fast Pencil Marketplace, um, I'll go over in another video, but essentially it provides you with a page where you can sell your book directly to your own um, following of users. So. For example, I might be a, a, a speaker and I speak at all of these different conferences and I put on all of these seminars and I have books and things that I like to sell, books and ebooks that I sell to the, the people who attend. Um, I actually could give out my page on Fast Pencil directly to the attendees and they could go and purchase all of my books uh, directly fr through Fast Pencil. And by doing that, I actually can get a larger, much larger royalty than if I were to send them to Amazon or Barnes and Noble or um, any of the other retailers. And we provide that free for now. If you choose Marketplace, you could put your book up and sell it directly to your um, readers. And then wide distribution is really powerful. Wide distribution is $299. It covers um, both ebook and print on demand distribution to Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, Kindle, um, Nook, iPad, iBooks, um, Ingram, Ingram Digital, uh, and the list goes on. It really is the widest distribution that you can uh, imagine for, uh, for an aspiring author or an independent author or even a small publisher to get their books out into um, all of the retail channels. And we'll do all of that, both ebook and print on demand versions for $299. I'm going to uh, click uh, Marketplace free here so I can f uh, take you through the rest of the process. Um, but uh, wide distribution is really easy. You just click uh, the wide distribution button. Our system will automatically assign ISBNs for you if you uh, are an independent author um, or if you are a, um, uh, a publisher, if you have a publisher's account. 
um, then it will use the ISBN numbers and the metadata that you've already input for your publishing company. All right, so I'm going to choose Marketplace Free. I'll click the Next button. And you can see here that it gives me another option to look at the template and the size that I chose. I'm not going to change. You can see if I did change it to 6x9 or 5x8, you know, how that actually changes the shape of the book. Uh, you know, you can see here that I have, I could go to a vertical, horizontal uh, size or whatever. Okay, I'll leave it at, at uh, 7x10. Actually, I'll, I'll change it to 6x9. And, um, and I'll click the Next button. And our system will, it'll take all of that new information, all the new data, the metadata and everything, and it will create the print-on-demand PDF that will get uh, sent out to our vendors for uh, publishing and uh, print-on-demand fulfillment. And I'll talk about that in another video as well. Um, and it will also create the EPUB version and the ebook version that gets uh, sent out to uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iBooks, uh, etc. Um, here you can see I have some paper choices. I can choose white or cream. I can also choose whether I want it to be a perfect bound paperback book, a case laminate hardcover, or a dust jacket book. And that means a, uh, a book that is a hardcover but is wrapped with a piece of paper that, you know, that is the actual cover of the book. I'm going to leave it as perfect bound and we'll go to the next step here and we'll look at the book cover page. The book cover page allows you to upload an image for the front and an image for the back cover. We um, we check this checkbox by default here for adding a quarter inch border around the front and back cover because a lot of uh, um, independent authors aren't really savvy about uh, uploading images and this really just makes it so that you know your cover is going to look nice if you just upload an image but if you're actually a little bit more um, uh, talented with say Photoshop you can uncheck that and you can actually upload your own image um, and it will tell you what size the image needs to be. So you can see here that uh, in order to create an image or a front cover with the appropriate bleeds and everything, I'm going to upload a 1988 by 3075 pixel um, image, a JPEG or a PNG, and I can upload RGB or CMYK. And then here's some other specifications that it should have on its top, right, and bottom edges. That means the outside edges of the image should have a 0.625 inch bleed around them. This is what's going to get cut off when the book is actually printed and um, the cover is uh, is uh, glued on. So again, pay attention to these specifications and here's further information about the, uh, the cover if you need it. Um, the other thing is that you can um, upload a back cover as well and same thing here you have specifications you can also choose the color background uh, let's choose um, let's just choose blue and then let's make the uh, text uh, white if I was uploading an image that included my title and author on the image itself then I would uncheck this because I don't want fast pencil to print the author title and uh, on top of my image that already has it on there but um, in this case, I'm not going to be putting anything up there, so I'm just going to check it. Um, same with the back cover. If you want to upload an image that has all of the content and text and everything on it, you can do that here. Um, uh, or you can just upload an image, and you can uh, put uh, the description on the back cover. Okay, and I'll just change that to white as well. And then the spine color, you can choose that as well. And Fast Pencil will, if there's more than 80 pages, Fast Pencil will give you an option to print a title on the spine. And you can actually put the uh, author and the title on the spine if you want it. So our system is going to actually go through and it will now render this front cover. Um, it'll render an appropriate cover for the ebook. And it will render an appropriate cover that's set up for the print on demand book as well. That means it will include all of the crop marks, all of the bleed, um, everything to specifications for print on demand. This is pretty amazing, actually. If you know anything about book printing in the past, um, you would have to go through a graphic designer and you'd have to use really expensive, complicated tools to create these kinds of uh, assets that are necessary for actually publishing a book. Our system will actually do all of this for you automatically and um, if you chose wide distribution, we actually even create the ISBN barcode and the price barcode that goes on the back of the book. 
And this is uh, really important because once you go out into distribution, you have to be uh, certain specifications for all the retailers to be able to use your content, you know, or actually to be able to sell your book uh, out there, whether it's online or anywhere else, you still need to be at the appropriate spec. So um, our system here is creating not only the cover, but the insides of the book, and uh, it will create the, uh, the um, e-book as well. And so we're just a few steps away from finishing here. Y you can take a look at the cover spread, and it'll show you exactly what your cover is going to look like when it's um, uh, when it's printed. This is really important. A actually, I'm going to open it up because I want to show you this. When you are reviewing your cover, make sure that you look at the crop marks here. Okay, these crop marks are telling you where the cover is going to get cut off. If you have an image that goes outside of the crop marks here, it's going to get cut off, as well as the spine. This tells you where the spine is going to get folded, and these are the crop marks as well. And this is going to give you a good idea of what your cover is spread is going to look like. This is the back cover on this side. This is the front cover on this side. Here's the bottom with the logo. If you have your own publisher's account, you'll see your own publisher's logo here. And here's the ISBN barcode information. If you had uh, gone through wide distribution, you would see that out there as well. But this is really critical. Pay attention to these crop marks right here so that you make sure that your image is centered appropriately and is not going to get cut off when your book is published. Okay. And then finally, you're going to go to your pricing page. This is going to tell you what, you know, what your book is going to cost you. All right, that's what it'll cost to actually get a copy of the book for myself. This is what you're going to charge your readers. Okay, I'm going to change that to 7.99 and you'll see that these numbers change. When I sell this book through Fast Pencil, then I'll actually make $4.46 on every one that's sold. I can change the ebook price as well. I can change that to 7.99. And I, you'll see I can make I make six dollars and thirty nine cents whenever that's sold. So I might want to make my ebook even less. Maybe I'll make that five ninety nine. And so that I'm, my profit is comparable whether they buy the ebook at five ninety nine or the print book at seven ninety nine. And then finally, um, Fast Pencil will take all of that information. It will embed the price on the cover. It will um, create all of the assets ready for print on demand. I can go through and review everything about my book, make any final changes, and then I'm going to order some copies. So I might order just one copy at first because I want to proof my book. I want to hold it in my hands and see exactly what it feels, looks, reads like before I publish it into wide distribution. And so actually is a good way, um, you know, a recommendation for people that you might want to publish it first into the marketplace before you choose wide distribution just so that you can order a proof copy and take a look at it and see how it feels. Um, you're going to hit the Add to Cart button and that will uh, put it right into the cart. You can see what you're getting, uh, the print copy at $2.42, the digital uh, catalog fee of $9.99. Uh, for creating all of the EPUB assets and the other assets that go into the digital catalogs. Um, and then you can actually check out. And so that really is the uh, publishing step front end to end. Uh, you just follow the wizard, fill out the forms, enter in your information, and uh, check out. And your print copy will be on its way to you so that you can, uh, you can proof it. You'll also be able to download your e uh, ebook version so that you can proof that as well. And then once you're happy with everything, go ahead and publish it using the $2.99 wide distribution option and we'll get it up in uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, Kindle, Apple, iBooks, Ingram, Ingram Digital, and you know lots of, uh, lots of play places um, and uh, usually within 24 to 48 hours for the ebook stuff and then within a week or two for the, uh, for the print on demand stuff. So talk about getting to market quickly and uh, using a very powerful Fast Pencils uh, online digital publishing workflow system, uh, you can go from an idea all the way to published and out in the world with a few clicks. So in the next one here, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the marketplace and how to market and sell your book now.